the R&D goal was to develop a new generation fast ferry for the 35 to 50 knot speed range facilitating improved safety, improved fuel economy, improved passenger comfort, improved environmental profile, improved sea state operability, improved popularity and revenue generation. The monomeran comprises a full-length center hull and two half-length side hulls. With the exception of the superstructure, this 13.5 by 5 meter test craft is a quarter scale of the 56 meter design version built by Island Engineering Incorporated in the US. While the craft flies, only a very small portion of the hull is actually in the water. Notice how it pierces the waves. The difference between the monomeran's two modes of operation is very noticeable. At low speeds, all three of the craft's hulls are in the water. As the boat gains speed, however, the lifting force gradually elevates the boat so that the side hulls clear the waterline. This effect is best observed from underneath the hull. In high speed mode, the monomeran becomes drastically more efficient. The monomeran's small running draft is advantageous because it results in a 75% reduction of the wetted area and generates less wake. The highly efficient foil system carries the same weight as any hull but has only one third of the drag. The heave, pitch, roll, jaw and bank are all easily controlled through the onboard computer. The monomeran is a craft that pierces through the waves rather than riding them. Thus the boat can combine high speed and excellent passenger comfort, even in rough seas. How about a cup of coffee while the boat does 50 knots? No problem. Maneuverability is outstanding. The monomeran can make very sharp turns and the crash stop's distance is very short. In deliberately provoked extreme conditions, we can demonstrate the craft's safety of operation. Here the test pilot overlifts the hull. However, the controller automatically keeps the craft in perfectly stabilized condition until it comes down safely on all three hulls. This situation is not possible to provoke on a full-scale craft. This time the pilot cancels all lift on one side to demonstrate the craft's safety of operation. 
the craft rolls over until the side hull touches the water, then it stabilizes. If one of the two independent flaps on one side of the main foil should fail on a full-scale craft, the controller will automatically keep the craft in balance by reducing lift on the opposite side. The Monomoran's safety of operation is exceptional in a grounding accident. Even full rake bottom damage will not make it heal. It still floats perfectly upright, resting safely on its side hulls. The side hulls are normally out of the water, so chances of damaging them are small. The motion of high-speed crafts in waves depends on the shape of the hull and the craft's total waterline area. Monohulls tend to have wide hulls with butt bows. The result is a large waterline area that the waves love to play with. Catamaran hull lines are more similar to the monomorans. However, the monomoran has one hull while catamarans have two. The result is that the waterline area and the wave excitation forces are reduced to half. Add a large foil system and passive damping reduces motions even more. On top of this comes active damping provided by the flaps. The results are 50% lower accelerations and unique passenger comfort. The monomoran is designed to operate in 50% higher sea state compared to monohulls or catamarans of the same size. Add a significantly improved fuel economy and the monomoran becomes the first fast ferry ever to answer to the operator's call for improved overall performance. <laughs>